What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Oh no, we've been tagged. <gasps> We're it. That's a poke. This is Corin Nemec, live from Neo Show, Missouri. And I happen to have a question for you. It's a very serious question. Take a moment here, gather yourself. Do you nerd? That's the question. Do you nerd? Do you nerd? Do you nerd? If we like it, we nerd it. That's right, tagged yet again. So, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below to the video in which we were tagged by Retro Game Force. You want to see a great game collection. Start there. And here's the thing. He wants to see our top valuable games in our collection. The top three, in fact. So I'll pass now the challenge to the channel Do You Nerd and hope they will come up with a video of their top three most valuable games on their collection. We're not quite on your level, buddy, because we don't have any Neo Geo stuff, and our Saturn collection is nowhere near as impressive as yours. <laughs> awesome stuff, by the way. But we do have a few games that uh, they're, they're, they're worth a pretty penny or two. The shiny ones, even. Ooh, I like shiny. <laughs> now, uh, the thing is, the one that's at the top of that list, I don't think we can say anything about that one just yet. Mum's the word. What, why would that be? It's because it's got another video coming out and yeah. we don't want to spoil it. Yeah. Spoilers. So, we're going to have to start with the one right below that number one. Number two. All right, number two. And this is as of early 2021 going off of the Price Charter app. Those prices change and fluctuate all the time so this list it, it'll probably be worthless next week <laughs> i hope not I'm ruined! okay so to start this off we're gonna start at number three so this is you know low on that value totem pole yeah Future Tom's going to drop the current price of this right down here for me. Like I said, again, it will change, but ugh, we're starting big. <laughs> yes, we are. The Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, but this is the collector's edition. Now, this was less about the game and more... More about the stuff you got with yeah, it. Yeah, she wanted the I haven't even played the, the game. Stuff. <laughs> haven't even played the game, haven't done anything about it, but I wanted that big house that was a music box and then all the rest of the stuff was so cool in it. I, you know, there was something kind of neat about, you know, this the VHS that, you know, comes with it and and the um, thumb drive. ba da ba ba da ba Puns. <laughs> so yeah, I actually just loved the, all of the extra stuff that came with it. And I'm a sucker for those kinds of things. So sometimes I could care less about the game and more about the stuff it comes with. Yeah, the funny thing is, the reason she hasn't played it is because I keep pushing for her to just play it in VR, but... And I've told him, you can play it in VR and she, I'll watch. She says no. I can't play it in VR because I don't, I don't think my heart could handle that. Oh, whatever. <laughs> All right, so number three, most valuable game in the collection, Resident Evil 7, the Collector's Edition. <laughs> number two, most valuable game in the collection. Again, Future Tom, drop that price for me right down there. No school like the old school. And we are talking Metal Storm on the NES. Metal Storm! CIB, no less. Now, unfortunately, there is a little tape and price tag at the top of there, but everything is here from hey, the foam. 39 dollars <laughs> To the manual. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
40 bucks. That would have been a good deal for this. <laughs> now, the thing is, beyond the value of this game, this is a great game. A fun side-scrolling action platformer shooter. That's a big robot. With a very, very fun mechanic that comes into play. You can flip onto the ceiling and do a little gravity-defying upside-down action. And that's why I love this game. To me, this is a hidden gem, but the thing is, it's not so much hidden as it's just out of a lot of people's price range. Fortunately, not too long ago, they re-released this game. So now you have a chance to play something that you might've missed the first time around. Do you think things like re-releasing a game would lower its value? Good question. I think that it has the potential to, because depending on how many of those re-releases got out into the market, if it's very easily accessible, then yeah, no one needs this one anymore. But I think that there will always be those hardcore collectors that have to have the original, and they're the ones that are going to not only pay the premium prices for those games, but keep them in their collections that keep those premium prices where they are. And here it is, the most valuable game in our collection, Sorry. barring another one. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the complete inbox Chrono Trigger for Super Nintendo. And this was yours. This was mine. Well, first so of all... So this wasn't a, you know, secondhand got it as a deal somewhere. One of my favorite games of all time. So naturally, I hung on to this and took as much care as possible as I could with it. Uh, even got the protector on there now. But it's got the booklet. It's got the posters. It's got everything in here. And what a fantastic game. A time-traveling epic taking you to prehistoric ages, into the far future, and beyond to the end of time. What hasn't been said about Chrono Trigger, and it's just, just the, the, the great game that is this, and that needs a sequel. Come on, Square, keep the story going. <laughs> It has a frog. It does have a frog. The Frog Knight Glen on, like frogs. on his never-ending quest <laughs> to avenge his fallen friend, Cyrus of the Evil Magus. Or do you say Magus? M-A-G-U-S. That's something that's always fun about this game, is trying to figure out the pronunciations. Like the princess. I always called her Marl. I've heard people call her Marley. Well, there you go, Retro Game Force. You know, in the past, we've actually answered, I think, uh, most expensive Super Nintendo and NES games before, and those haven't changed. But I was actually surprised to see this. You I know, was too. I never hear anyone talk about the Collector's Edition. Maybe that house creeps them out a little bit, and I don't blame you. Be careful. They'll be looking for you. Anyway, at this point, generally people like to tag people in videos, but we love to throw open tags out there because we love it when you guys do a video response and drop a link in the comments below yes. so us and everybody else can go check out your video. Or if you just want to respond by writing in the comments below, let us know what are your top three most valuable games in your collection. Maybe it's just some blasts from the past or it's something that's in that collector's edition that's got someone else jealous because... Oh, they were this close to pre-ordering it, but you know how the stores are. Yeah, they're gone because we had like two of them. Kind of like me with the Death Stranding baby. Oh, poor BB. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> anyway, leave a like if you happen to like the video. Pop some comments down below. Be sure to hit the bell and subscribe and check out Retro Game Force. See what his top valuable games were. And, of course, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, and we'd love to see you in it. Also, hit us up on the Retro Refresh. They also have merchandise over on Tee Public. And if we like it... We nerd it, but we definitely try not to pay top dollar, so we just buy the stuff cheaper and hold on to it. And then get scared by it. Ooh. You're playing that game, not me. I will play it with the headset off, and then you can play it with the headset on. No, no deal. How about, I got it. I'll hold the controller, you wear the VR, and I will play based on what 
you see on the screen. That actually might be interesting. That could be fun. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. We probably shouldn't have said that. Because yep. that would be fun. Because now people are going to want to see that too.